So this is a property called the Vineyards. The Vineyards consists of approximately how many houses, Pauline? 200. 200. And it was built by a builder who's built a lot of homes in Port St. Lucie. Um, we bought one of his houses years ago in tradition. They were smaller houses in those days. These houses are good size and they, they, these seem to be built better than the ones in tradition. Um, they have a lot of features which the tradition houses did not have. Big do tall doors, they're all concrete block. They all have, the majority of them anyway, as far as I know, have impact windows. Many have three car garages, not just a golf cart garage, but that second garage that you might see in front of you here will actually fit a car. There is a swimming pool up here and a little clubhouse. The fees aren't too bad. I think the fees are about $2.85 a month, but that includes cable and a fast internet and the lawn mowing and the weeding and all that kind of stuff. So it's actually a pretty good deal. If you had to add up all these things in your own house, it would be more money on your own if you did not have a, an association. Now the association does a halfway decent job. I've seen better, but what can you do? There are street lights at night. Obviously, there's sidewalks. That's where we're walking. A lot of developments do not have sidewalks. So all in all, it's not a bad place. And the prices aren't too bad. You probably can get a good-sized house for around 500 and some of the bigger ones around 600 There are some houses in here which are over 3,000 square feet. I would say the average is about 2,500 square feet. Do you agree, Pauline? Sure. What do you have to add to this commentary? <laughs> this is your commentary. Several people have Teslas in here. You cannot have pickup trucks, though. You can't have a pickup truck and leave it outside your, your house during the, during the night. A rabbit or something just ran by. However, if the pickup truck fits into the garage, then you yeah, you can put you can put it in the in the garage like I have my pickup truck is in the garage. It fits. The majority, if not all, have paver driveways, like you can see right here in front of Everybody you. Has a paver. Everybody has a paver driveway. Depending on which part of the development lit you live in, it can be pretty quiet. There also can be some noisy areas if you're abutting one of the highways or roads nearby. Or the elementary school. Or the elementary school. Everybody's very friendly. Everybody's friendly. Some of them are too friendly. It's a very welcoming uh, community. So. They had a big party last night, a, a dinner dance. Dinner under the stars. Under the stars here at the clubhouse. Uh, it was free. And as far as I know, no one was arrested or did anything they had terribly a, they wrong. Had dinner, they had dancing, yep. they bring your own bottles, you bring an appetizer, and then the event was... I don't know how the food is there, but there was food there. There was food, drink, and a good time was had by all. And you didn't have to leave the community. And you didn't have to, and you could walk there if you wanted to. They have yoga on the weekends on Saturday. Pauline goes to yoga, and she also goes to uh, stretching. And bunko. Bun bunko, whatever that is. They have card making, they have social events every last Friday or something of the week of the month. And what, what is card making? They have an event where you learn how to make cards. 
They have a thing where they... Had you mean like greeting cards? Greeting cards. Okay. They had an event where someone came in and showed them how to make herbs and organic stuff. So they you like to do something? Or yeah, there's, there's, acti there's a lot of activities. But we're also very convenient if you want to go shopping here five minutes away from Aldi's, Walmart, a lot of stores, a couple of malls, Home Depot and Lowe's are right down the street. And nobody seems to bother anybody. I've never heard of anybody having any, any arguments or and any. Allowed pets. Yeah, and you can have a pet. So it's not bad. So if you're interested in one of these things, I want you to get in touch with Pauline immediately. And she can take, because she understands it. And she's smarter than I am. Not as good looking, but she's smart. Her phone number is 561-452-5560. 561-452-5560. Some, some people have generators. I see a generator over there. Although in the couple of years we've been here, we've never lost the lights. So there is, it's all underground electric service. So it probably you're not gonna lose the lights as fast as some other places in Florida. So we'll see if this camera has a steady feature or not, because mm -hmm. I'm bouncing as I walk. And as you can see, it's pretty quiet. I, we haven't run into anybody yet in this five mile walk. <laughs> Oh, and the property is gated. There's a, there's a gate to get in and there's another gate in the back to go out the back way. So if you want to go, if you don't want to drive through the whole property, you can just sneak out the back or sneak out the front. And I've never heard of any crime in the two years that I've been here. And here are the birdies.
is an Amazon package on the front steps, even though it's Sunday afternoon.